and Hadley's off the mark. Well, the joys of uh, so many of these England fielders, they're very good in all kinds of positions. We've seen uh, Alan Lamb scintillating on the boundary, and uh, lovely chase. He's got a fine arm as well. And uh, picked up half a dozen catches in the last test at Lord's. Showing his great uh, versatility. That's a short one. A long chase for David Gow. He's going to win too, but uh, they could run four if they want to. And in fact, they have. Again to Hadley. That's a fine shot off the back foot. Rock back, gave himself time and timed it very sweetly indeed. Comes up to 200 from New Zealand for the loss of six wickets. Hadley going on to six. Last chance in the series for a final flourish from uh, Richard Hadley. And he's dropped him. Very definite chance, Corton Bell there, and he's quite horrified about that. Was moving in exactly the right direction. Looked as though he was going to pouch it safely and went straight through his hands. And, uh, that's what he'll be thinking about as he tips on that extra sweater and watches Willis come in from the Radcliffe Road end. Well, that's in there, but to safely over mid-off. Well, that's the way uh, Richard Hadley plays his cricket, and it'd be wise, one would imagine, to carry on in this vein. Not the type of player who can push up and down the line and try and hold out. Well, with all these gaps in the field in front of the wicket, Richard Hadley's just not going to push about, and that was full face of the bat, and in the end, comfortably over Cook at mid-off. 210 for six. Botham to Richard Hadley. And he didn't really get very close to that at all. But quite a bit of swing here. Moving well away and he was right over the top of it. And that pushed th almost through Smith. Comfortably to mid on, mid wicket easy runs there Hadley goes to 14 well that's a good shot <laughs> almost as though uh, Richard Hadley was waiting for that saying to himself the bounce is coming the bounce is coming Norman Cowans is just unable to get it. Well, both of them will be disappointed at that, having uh, pulled Hadley into what he hoped was going to be the trap. Yes, well read. That was much quicker and a little bit outside the off stump, making it awkward to pull. And just going clear. Just going clear, Norman Cowans. didn't time that but uh, it's going to give Bob Willis a tough time in pulling it up before the boundary he just flailed it away down the ground ten runs off those last three deliveries oh well fielded beautiful cricket that David Gower Uh, now to Jeremy Kearney has the man in short cover <coughs> and he's gone 
and Coney was uh, slightly reluctant to go to so uh, he hit the ground and he's hustling off the field now and he went for the the chop square there very close to him it got him tucked up so natural disappointment there at uh, being dismissed 228 for 7 New Zealand Snared himself the mark with single. <laughs> and it's gone for four. That won't worry anyone out there too much, except Ian Botham, whose bowling analysis has suffered because uh, it means Martin Sneddon has to take strike against Nick Cook. 234 for seven, Hadley 33. to Richard Hadley no man straight down the ground 250 comes up for New Zealand Nicely, pitching around Midland leg. Four more, there's no man at third man. Went past Alan Lamb at catchable height and at about 130 miles an hour. 50 to Richard Hadley. 66 balls faced and 11 boundaries. So he's having a very good match. He's reached 200 wickets in Test match cricket in this game. Well, Richard Hadley gets any leverage, then he can crack it as hard as anybody, and that went at many a mile. Oh, that's a great catch. Well, has he given it or not? Yes. Umpire Bird has given it, and Stedman's out. That was a super catch from Bob Taylor, as I think we'll see. Look at me as though it probably jammed from uh, Sneddon's glove into the top of his pad or his thigh and then flew past the stumps and Taylor grabbed it as it was on its way down. It was a catch that would have done credit to a 19-year-old or even a 16-year-old for that matter. A fine effort that from Bob Taylor who's had such uh, a good series behind the stumps for England. Richard Hadley, 52 not out in that total of 264 for eight. And New Zealand uh, changed that batting order after lunch. They sent in Lance Cairns instead of John Bracewell to partner Richard Hadley. Here's the first ball after the interval. Norman Cowans is coming in and Richard Hadley is taking strike. And off in uh, typical style. Harsh treatment for Cowans' first delivery. Cluttered over mid on for four. That's four more without any bother at all. Immensely powerful, both up front foot and back foot. Waited for that, pulled it away to deep square. He'll come back uh, very easily for two runs, just jogging along. So Hadley will keep the strike. And Cairns gets himself off the mark. 274 now for eight. The one 
has been offered to Hadley and uh, he's quite grateful to take it. Cowns again to Cowns. Just uh, stroked it away. Hooks onto it a little quicker this time, but they're still going to make two. in this spell, not bowling with quite the same pace that he worked up from the pavilion end this morning. That's uh, edged away, there's nobody down at third man, so Cairns will get four for it. Cowan's now to Cairns. Well, that's a great stop. Three slips under gully in, four on Cairns, short leg uh, close in two. Two ninety for eight. It's cooked again. Oh well, bowl Nick Cook. That's his fourth wicket. First time Cairns had looked like making any sort of offensive gesture against him. He's gone for eleven. Two ninety for nine then, and four wickets now to Nick Cook, with only John Bracewell to come in. And here Cairns trying to hit Cook over the top that went straight on with the arm and hit the off stump just on five past two as the last man faces his first ball exercise there for John Bracewell but um, I don't think it'll do him very much good from the scoring point of view as some by Harold Bird decides that it was actually a shot yep. Willis fielder that away behind square leg so they'll allow him to pick up uh, four there Hadley's gone to 71 and Bracewell is going to look for three you just have to be content with two. We're quite happy to have him take strike against Norman Cairns. A crashing stroke. Beautiful pull shot. Uh, John Bracewell just waiting for the short one. This is a shot played with unusual authority for the tail ender that uh, John Bracewell can play off the back foot. <laughs> the 
four more for the total. Oh, a nice save. Nice save. There's the two, in fact. Take the total on to 313. Safely away over Slips and Gully. Four more to John Bracewell. And it's divided attention time out there. Ian Botham, who uh, is just training to be a pilot at the moment, is very interested in the Red Arrows. Very interested in Nick Cook as well. Three there if Richard Hadley wants it. Crashed away over mid-off by John Bracewell. Goes to 17. Control shot from Bracewell down the wicket, right to the pitch. High over mid-off. Really is a well-organised tail end. And it's Chris Smith to come on now from the Redcliffe Road end. He's already taken one wicket. And well now to Richard Hadley, who's on 82. That's a good hit for six. Big strong lad, John Bracewell, and he gave that everything. He's played pretty well all through. Gave the quicker bowlers quite a caning. Norman Cowan's uh, jumped from three for 60 to three for 95 in the space of just five overs. And uh, Bracer was too quick. Realized he was being beaten and put the bat back in very quickly. This is one of the uh, disadvantages of being such a slow bowler. The ball never reaches the keeper. But he managed to get back in time quite easily. And that's the end. That's the end of things with England winning by 165 runs. John Bracewell caught Taylor Ball Smith for 28 and Richard Hadley remained 92 not out. Disappointment there that he didn't make a century, but it was a delightful innings and a first-class performance from one of the world's leading all-rounders. Yes, he's a great cricketer, Richard Hadley, and uh, that 92 not out was a just reward there for some sterling service to New Zealand during the whole of this four-match series. John Bracewell, 
helped him along there in a fine last wicket partnership, 345 the total, and the English bowling figures make interesting reading. Bob Willis, just 19 overs in the second innings for the one wicket. He's still behind Fred Truman's record, but will pass.